and welcome back to Viva Asks Bruno Mars. I'm Lila Parsons and this is the only show that gets you close than any other to your favourite Prince of Pop. I've been quizzing Bruno with the questions from you guys, the fans. But don't worry, we still have loads more to come. Locked out of heaven, I'm supposed to make people dance and I hope the fans are dancing with me. One day I shall make a movie that I'm going to write and direct and star in. Don't start a beef. Look at Brazil, it's trying to start a beef. Right, Bruno. Hey! <laughs> first round done, how was it? Oh, that was rough. I took my jacket off, but I'm ready for the second one. Cool, and this round is all about your fans. <laughs> Kayla from the UK would like to know, have any of your songs been inspired by your fans? I always think about the audience when uh, I'm writing a song. You know, and I always feel like uh, if it does something to me emotionally, then maybe it will do something emotionally to the fans. So, if I want... Uh, Locked out of heaven, I'm supposed to make people dancing, and I hope the fans are dancing with me. Good answer. Thank you. Next up, Matthias Olivares from Chile. You are popular in Chile. Yeah, um, Chile. So he says, Bruno, you write the words that any fan in love would want to say to his girl. That's really sweet. That's nice. How do you connect to your fans like that? Like I said, it's it's if it does something to me, and you know, if I, or if I get to say something, um, you know, when you write a song, you really want to say everything it is that you want to say. So I won't put the song on the album if I, if I didn't if I don't feel like that. Nazareth Carter from Panama wants to ask you: How would you describe us fans, the hooligans? Nuts, awesome. The reason why I'm I'm here. They're the reason why I'm doing this. You know, it's like that's the it's the payoff to be able to go out and do shows and and. Uh, you know, just see that your music does something to people, and it's such a gratifying feeling. And they're, they're the best. They say, and they're funny. A lot of them are funny. Did you get any funny questions? Well, I have lots of funny ones. All right, let's go. The next question is from Vitoria Amorim from Brazil, who'd like to know, Bruno, will there be a documentary of your life? The hooligans would love to see it. One day I shall make a movie that I'm going to write and direct and star in. Just be Bruno. It's going to be it's gonna be called Bruno the Great. Yeah. Um, written and produced by Bruno, the great. And it's just going to be, you know, a very true auto, what do you call them, autobiographies about my life and how I grew up as a cage fighter. I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Tears. Blood. Blood. Lots of sweat. And action. Yeah. Because that's what my life's all about, baby. Yeah, I can see that. Tears and action. Oh, it should be called Bruno Morris, Tears and Action. And you'll be on the front in your cage. Yeah. Get ready, world. Cool. <laughs> Mariana Cerny from Brazil has asked, Bruno, when you're touring, which fans impress you most? Don't start a beef. Look at Brazil. It's trying to start a beef. Michelle Lima from Brazil would like to know what's the oldest fan you've ever seen because her grandmother is 61 and she loves you. That's beautiful. I don't know how old they were, but we, you know, if you come to our show, it is very um, diverse in age and, and, and cultures, which is very cool. And finally, Kit from France has asked, how does it make you feel that your music has improved so many of your fans' lives? Isn't that sweet? Wow! I feel amazing. How do you not feel amazing after you hear something like that? Thank you. Thank you. What can we expect from Bruno Mars come 2013? Expect the movie. Tears in action. It's going to be great. Because now you got my mind spinning. And, and Annie. And Annie. Yeah. <laughs> um, expect the show. i got to put this tour together. A lot of this album was really um, influenced by the tour and just how I felt live and how I want to feel this time around. So. I'm going to go back and put a show together and come out and see all of my friends soon. Before we go, we thought it might be nice if you could give them a treat from you. Do you have a message for them? I can't wait to see you. Um, please come to the show, and I promise it's going to be bigger and better than ever. And I love y'all. Thank you for submitting the questions. I hope I did a decent job. Yeah, I'd say you got a good nine and a half out of ten. You were looking at me pretty funny throughout that interview, so I don't know. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And good luck and see you soon. Lila, you're a doll.